Hello guys, my name is Muhammad Shahzad and I'm watching my YouTube channel Skill Set with Shahzad. So in this video, we will know how to install uh, Microsoft Windows 11 on VMware Workstation. If you guys don't know how to download, you can just type uh, download Windows 11 and it will take you to the Microsoft Windows uh, download page. You can click here and then from here you can choose ISO file here and uh, you can click download and then it will ask you to choose a language and then you can choose a language and then confirm and then it will give you the ISO file you can easily download here okay so this is the way I already have downloaded uh, this on my computer I already have uh, downloaded this is this file Sprox 6.34 GB you can download and then you can create play with that let's go on VMware workstation this is uh, VMware workstation pro 17 personal use only and here we will create a new virtual machine I'll go on home and then create a new virtual machine next I will install operating system later I will check this one because if you choose here and give operating system here it will give a error sometime it's giving a problems so let the machine create and then after that you can in, uh, add a installation media file here I'll go next this one and I will choose Windows 11 64 bit Windows Microsoft Windows next and I'll give the same name if you want to change a directory of the virtual machine files you can change it otherwise default is okay if you have sufficient space on your C drive I'll go next and here you can confirm a password for generating encryption I will only encrypt these files not the all files if you want to encrypt all the files you can choose it here remember the password okay next 64 GB is enough next finish this is the 4 GB memory and this one if you want to customize you can cho choose it uh, and uh, change the adapter if you want and increase the CPU or memory, whatever. You can click here and you can do that from here. So as of now, I'll keep the default one. I'll go finish. And after within a second, it will create your virtual machine. The virtual machine is ready now. We'll just go in our CD drive. I will add my image, which is on a E drive. I select it and open here and I'll choose connect at power on okay and we will start our virtual machines power okay and I'll press any key to start the installation I'll close this warning on the bar on the down and we'll wait for the installation okay the first window here choose your language time formats and keyboard formats uh, we are all good with this I'm good if you want guys have another you want to change you can change the language here format your time and uh, your keyboard layout if you want to change you can change it here next install now okay it's so asking for a product key if you have purchased the windows you can give your product key otherwise you can see the trial basis I don't have a product key I will click here here I will choose Windows 11 professional and you can choose other if you want here is our Windows 11 Pro I will choose this one go next I will accept the user agreement next I'll go custom installation let's create the partition or you can create later also if I apply it will make it some reserved partitions MSR and the system partition but and then the remaining one primary will choose for installation next and it will take a little time to install the file installing features installing updates and finishing up for us it's installing now and guys you can see here windows server 2020 25 i have one video how to install windows server 2025 on a vmware workstation you can check in my video list there will be so you can enjoy how to install the latest microsoft server 2025 as well 
okay it's 91 percent completed we'll wait until it's reaching to the 100 percent and other features installed definitely it will ask for restart Okay, after a first time installation, it's restarted. Let's see the next. Okay, it's restarted. Let's see if the graphical desktop is coming in front of us make it 8 GB as well because we have uh, only less resources I just choose 4 GB default settings okay the first graphic is came in front of us and let's see what next okay here you choose is this the right country and region for you okay yes you can choose according to your location because we are using only for uh, lab purposes that's why I choose same and now the keyboard input is okay and and I will skip this one not required in our lab checking for updates if there is any updates or PC on it's on we are not going to shut down until the magical key front desktop is not in front of us okay relaxed Okay, one more restarted. Let's see now. It's two time already restarted the PC. Now we'll see. Okay, updating. Welcome. Okay, now I'm asking, uh, you can give your PC name, I will skip this, or you can give any of your PC name, I'll skip for now. Okay, it's asking for your personal use, or your school, or work, as we know we are using only for uh, personal use a lab purposes so I will use it select the first one next now it's asking for sign in okay so we'll go click here if you have your ID you can do it because we are doing only lab so I will not go with the sign in I will go sign in options and face fingerprints use your device sign in with passkey forget my pass I will go back and just go next let's see create one sign in options I want to use it as a like um, offline use let's keep asking let's see okay cancel 
other way to sign in okay give my email account we'll go next okay I don't have access to my outlook app use your password instead okay I will give my app Okay, success is done. Let's see. We have approved. Please wait. We can use it as an offline as well. set up as a new PC I don't want to restore okay create a pin for this if you want you can it's a kind of a password Okay, uh, the last four characters. Okay, next complexity. Okay, good. Let's see now. Hopefully, this is the last window be patient if you want to install Windows 11 the guys really tell me in the comments I really miss my uh, Windows 7 Windows 7 was really nice I will uncheck all these don't need it and then because it's on our lab environment I will accept okay I will skip this one for gaming and other stuff I will skip as of now no need I will skip again I don't want to use my stuff to log in because only for experiment that's why you know in Windows 7 the best thing is when you install it's just there nothing like that things but what to do we have to walk through one by one to install this window let's see what next always have access to your recent browser no not now it's a lab environment I don't want to put a lot of information in there I want to see the desktop okay saying you're uh, you're landed on a free trial and blah 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 we don't need any Microsoft as of now decline this one as well and go to my desktop the games again checking for the updates
Okay, it's gonna download the latest updates and then it will install there. So we will wait. Okay guys, our window is installed and the pin we during the installation we selected. We will log in with that pin code. So here we go. Okay, finally our windows is installed and here we go. We can explore our things here. So you can see here is the window and it's installed. Thank you guys. If you like my video, please do not sub forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. And then I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.